We are apt to imagine that we could discover these effects by the mere operation of our reason, without experience. We could at first have inferred that one billiard ball would communicate motion to another upon impulse, that we needed not to have waited for the event in order to pronounce with certainty concerning it. But when I see, for instance, a billiard ball moving in a straight line towards another, even suppose motion in the second ball should be, by accident, suggested to me as a result of their compact contact or impulse. May not both these balls remain at absolute rest? May not the first return in a straight line or leap off from the second in any line or direction? All these suppositions are consistent and conceivable. Why then should we give preference to one which is no more consistent or conceivable than there is? Some pretend that the true and direct principle of every effect is not any power or force in nature, but a volition of the Supreme Being, who wills that such particular objects should be forever conjoined with each other. Instead of saying that one billiard ball moves another by a force which it has derived from the author of nature, it is the deity himself, they say, who by a particular volition moves the second ball, being determined to this operation by the impulse of the first ball. You know what will happen to the two billiard balls, provided nothing interferes. If one ball encounters a roughness in the cloth which the other does not, the motion will not illustrate the law in the way you expect it. Of course what happens as a result of the roughness in the cloth will illustrate the law in some other way, but your original prediction will have been false. Or again, if I snatch up a cue and give one of the balls a little help, you will get a third result, and that third result will equally illustrate the laws of physics and equally falsify your prediction. I shall have spoiled the experiment. But the physicist does know if the billiard balls are tampered with by any agency, natural or supernatural, which he has not taken into account, then the behavior must differ from what he expected. Not because the law is false, but because it is true. The more certain we are of the law, the more clear we know that if new factors have been introduced, the results will vary accordingly. Natural law has never caused any event at all. The laws of motion do not set billiard balls moving. They analyze the motion after something else, say a man with a cue, or a lurch in the liner, or perhaps a supernatural power. 